maintain justice and do what is right. Those words begin the 56th chapter of the book of Isaiah when the people of Israel returned from their exile after 70 years of captivity in Babylon. As we're in the middle of our exile, we need to consider as well what those words maintain justice and do what is right mean in our day as well. My name is Earl Cooperkamp, the pastor of the Church of the Good Shepherd in Barry, and a leader in Vermont Interfaith Action. And I want to talk about a moral economy. For the past few years, our Clergy and Elders Caucus has been using the idea of a moral economy in order to for, uh, make our work go forward. We found that there are six principles for us. A moral economy, first of all, honors the dignity of all people. We also say that a moral economy values every person's gifts and abilities. And we've seen this recently in this time of pandemic with our essential workers, those healthcare workers, grocery store workers, all who put themselves on the line to make sure that we all had what we needed. So we need to value all those gifts and abilities. A moral economy also offers all people just rewards and fair wages for their work. I'm Pleased to say that after a few years of trying, we were able as Vermont Interfaith Action to make sure that the minimum wage will be raised here in Vermont. We still have a ways to go to, in the fight for 15 and for living wages for all of our workers. And that's why we're gonna keep this fight up. Also, we still need to continue to work for family and medical uh, leave that will be paid and that will be available to all workers here in Vermont. A moral economy also respects and provides for all who are unable to work. That's a very important point for us as well, to take care of all of our people. And a moral economy respects and protects the most vulnerable. That's the way we're judged by how we deal with those whom we have called the least of these. Finally, a moral economy will respect the earth and its resources, preserving life for future generation. So it is these principles of the dignity of all, all people and their work, respect for people's gifts, for what they offer, respect for all who, who are unable to work and protection for them and the most vulnerable, ultimately respect for the earth. These are the principles that make a moral economy for us that we will keep fighting for along with our sister organizations of faith and action throughout the nation. So thank you very much for your time and your attention today. Peace.